Hi, welcome once again for another new video. This is Santu Sahu and you are watching Sahu's tutorial. And in this YouTube video, I will be covering some important MCQ questions on English literature for the upcoming Guwahati University PG 2023 English literature exam. This is the part 4. I have already made 3 videos. Please visit the playlist that is Guwahati University PG 2023 English literature mock test. And in that playlist, you will get the recently uploaded videos. So, in this YouTube video, I will be covering some important MCQ questions on English literature for the upcoming Guwahati University. And this is the part 4. So, before starting the session, this is my humble request to all of you. Please make sure to subscribe the channel and tap the bell icon to get more notification and to stay uploaded. And don't forget to hit the like button as well. So, here is your first question on your screen. The first question is that the term defamiliarization was coined by Victor Salusky, Matthew Arnold, T.S. Hillers, William Ives, who coined the term defamiliarization. This is Victor Salusky. Victor Salusky, okay, has coined the formalism. Uh, the formalist actually Salusky had coined defamiliarization. The author of Arts Poetica, the Art of Poetry, Plato, Horace, Virgil, and here uh, Aristotle, who wrote Arts Poetica. It is Horace. Horace has written Arts Poetica. Horace Arts Poetica is an official presented as an informal letter to members of Pichu family, originally written in dactylic hexameter. So, Horace Arts Poetica is an official presented as an uh, informal letter to the members of Pichu family, originally written in dactylic hexameter. Who was the author of the Whale Rod Aunt? William Hinson, I. Richards, Clean Books, Boris Tombeski. So, the Whale Rod Aunt, the Whale Rod Aunt actually written by the, 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 the new critic, Clint Brooks. Clint Brooks has written the whale rod on. Which of the following is not a revenge tragedy? Duchess of Malfi is a revenge tragedy. All Pony, Hamlet is a revenge tragedy. Gorbodak is also Ferex and Porex. The subtitle of Gorbodak is Ferex and Porex. Okay, so here, uh, All Pony is not a revenge tragedy. All Pony by Bain Johnson is not a revenge tragedy. Whereas Duchess of Malfi, Hamlet and Gorbodak, these are all revenge tragedy. Next question, the Red Cross Knight, it's Spencer. In, in Spencer, so the fairy queen represents Holiness, chastity, temperance, falsehood. So the Red Cross Knight in Spencer's fairy queen representing holiness, whereas chastity is represented by Virgin Britomart. Virgin, okay, the Virgin Britomart. Virgin uh, Britomart is representing chastity. Holiness is represented by Red Cross Knight. Temperance is Sir Gawain, okay, Sir Gawain. And falsehood or deceptive is represented by, uh, that is, Duesha. Uh, and Una is representing, Una is representing truth. truth. Next question. Uh, sorry, here is the explanation. Spencer presented the first three books of the Fairy Queen uh, to Elizabeth I in 1518 and probably sponsored by Sir Walter Raleigh. The poem was a clear effort to gain court favor and was a reward. Elizabeth granted Spencer, 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 a pension for the life amounting to 50 pounds. Uh, yeah. So, next question. That is a self contradictory statement. Paradox, irony, tension, motivation. Kya hai? Self contradictory. That is paradox. Paradox is a self-contradictory statement. That is a way of writing in which what is mean is contrary to what the word appears to say. What is, is a way of writing in which what is meant mean is contrary to what the word appears to say. Paradox, motivation, intentional flash, irony. So irony. Irony is a way of writing in which what is mean is contrary to what the word appears to say. This is irony. Who is the author of anatomy of criticism? William Winget. Uh, North of Fry, Matthew Arnold, Frederick James, Kirsten Lika, and that was published. Next question. The line present fears and are less than horrible imaginings appear in Macbeth, King Lear, Othello, Julius Caesar. So the, these lines appear in Macbeth. Macbeth. So, the term symbolist was coined by Dash in the review La Vogue in 1886. Jean Morris, Emile, uh, Emile Jola, Emile Jola. Hippolyte Tain, John Steinbeck. The term symbolist was coined by Jean Norwich. Okay, Jean Norwich. Barton Brecht's concept of theatre was influenced by that is epic theatre, Elvin Piscator, Anton Artut, Peter Brook, Eugenio Barba. Barton Brecht's concept of theatre was influenced by Erwin Piscator. This was coined by the epic theatre. Epic theatre was coined by Erwin Piscator, then heavily influenced by Erwin Piscator. So, okay, Barton Brecht was heavily influenced by Erwin Piscator. So, Piscator is the right answer here. The line, a man can be dressed but not defeated, appears in for whom the bell told, the old man and the sea, the snows of Kilimanjaro, the sun also rises, the old man and the sea. Next question. Who among the following is called a New England poet? Robert Frost, Edwin Robinson, William Carlos Williams, Alan Ginsburg. So it is, Robert Frost is known as New England poet and he is also known as terrifying poet. Terrifying poet. The term negative was coined by Franz Stein and Komibhava, Mugibar Fangu and Wolf Swainka, N. Caesar and Leopold Sen. Senghor and K. Alfred Memi and Chinua Achebe. So it was 
MCJ and Leopard Sengot they have collaboratively coined the word negritude. Next question, Dorothy Brooke is the central character in Eliot, Adam Beat, Milan the Flow, Silas Manor, Middle March, Middle March, a study in the provincial life. This is subtitle of Middle March. Okay, so here Middle March is the right answer. Dorothy Brooke is the central character in Eliot's Middle March. Who wrote the book, The Pilgrim's Progress? That came, uh, Pilgrim Progress. Okay, Deep Four, Oliver Goldsmith, Banyan, uh, Banyan, none of this Banyan. John Banyan has written. John Bunyan has written here the Pilgrim Progress that was published in 1678 may published to other 1678 may published to the Pilgrim Progress by John Bunyan. Next question in English literature. In English literature, the period from 1660 to 1700 is known as period of restoration, period of renaissance, period of uh, classical period, and none of these. Okay, so it is 1660 1700. Kya hai? This is this is this is this is known as okay, that is restoration period. Okay, period of restoration. Next question in English literature, the period of the period from 1700-1745 is known as period of restoration, period of renaissance, Augustan age, none of this. This Augustan age, 1700-1745 is known as Augustan age, okay, or the age of, uh, age of Pope, okay, the age of Pope. Chalo, next question. In English literature, the period from 1745-1785 is known as age of sensibility, period of renaissance, Augustan age, none of this. 1745-1785, this is also age of sensibility. Age of, age of sensibility or age of Johnson, age of Samuel Johnson, so okay, age of Samuel Johnson. Next question, in the novel 1984 by George Orwell, who is the protagonist and the main character? Big brother, Winston Smith, O'Brien, Julia, it is the Winston Smith, is the protagonist and big brother is the antagonist, okay. Big brother is the antagonist, whereas the protagonist is Winston Smith, the 1984 novel that was published in 1949. The dystopian novel 1984 was published in 1949 by George Orwell. In the novel, Jane Eyre by Charlotte Bronte, who is a fruiting and a mysterious master of Thornfield Hall. The master of Thornfield Hall that appears in Jane Eyre by Charlotte Bronte, St. John Rivers, Mr. Rochester, John Treat, Mr. Brucklehurst. Mr. Rochester is the master. The brooding, the mysterious master of Thornfield Hall is Mr. Rochester. Okay, so here B is the right answer that was written by Jane Eyre. That, was written, that can be found in the novel Jane Eyre by Charlotte Bronte. In the novel, Oliver Twist by Charles Dickens, who is the cunning and the manipulative leader? The cunning and the manipulative leader of a gang of child criminals. Okay. Oliver Twist, Fagin, Nancy Bill Sky. So it is Fagin. Fagin is the cunning and the manipulative leader of gang of child criminals in Oliver Twist. So Fagin is the right answer. B is the right answer. Dash is an important concept developed by formalists. Okay. Literariness, imitation, taxonomy, psychoanalysis. Formalists had actually they developed the literariness. Now, what is literariness? The term literariness was first introduced by Russian formalism Roman Jacobson in 1921. He declared his work modern Russian poetry that in his work modern Russian poetry that the object of literary science is no literature but literariness. That is what makes a given work a literary work. What makes a given work a literary work? Next question. Who is the author of practical criticism? I. Richards, Matthew Arnold, T. S. Eliot, George Watts. Who is the author of practical criticism? It is I. Richards. I. Richards has written practical criticism. Who wrote cultural anarchy? William Watson, Matthew Arnold, P. D. Series, S. T. Coulter. Who is the author of cultural anarchy? It is Matthew Arnold has written culture and anarchy. B. Is the right answer. Grand style was coined by whom? The term was coined by Ken. Who coined the term grand style? Matthew Arnold, T. S. Eliot, William in uh, William K. Williams, William Inson. So it is actually Matthew Arnold. Matthew Arnold has coined the term grand style. Next question: The term the movement. The new criticism received its name from the title of Dax. The new criticism. Okay. William Inson, William K. Williams, John Kurangio, Kenneth Brew, Kenneth Brown. The movement new criticism got its title name. From the title of the book called New Criticism, and it was written by John Kurangio. So C is the right answer here. The term objective correlative was first used by Kisne Pele used Kia Tha. He is here name. T is Hume, Ezra Pound, Washington Alston. The objective correlative was first used by Washington Alston. And here is the explanation. The term was coined by the American painter and the poet Washington Alston. That is the objective correlative. Objective correlative. Okay. And was introduced. But and was introduced by T. S. Eliot rather casually into his essay, Hamlet and its problems, okay. And its subsequent vogue in literary criticism. But it was first used by whom? Coined by Washington Alston. But it was later used by, introduced by T. S. Eliot in his essay called Hamlet and his problem that was published in 1919. Who coined the term collective unconscious? Not of try. Karl Jung. Okay. Then you have the poet Karl Marx. It is Karl Jung. Okay. The architectural critics. The architectural critic of Karl Jung. Okay. That's the coined the term collective unconscious. Next question. In criticism, as a metaphor used by Aristotle in the poetics. To describe the effects of true tragedy, the effects of true tragedy on the spectator, on the audience. Okay. Anagnosis, catharsis, imitation, it is catharsis. Catharsis is the pargation of emotion. Pargation of emotion. Emotion is being parsed. Okay. So this is here. B is the 
items in english literature the period from 1798 to 1937 is known as romantic period renaissance period augustan period that is romantic period romantic period is known as uh, romantic period so it spans from 1798 to 1837 so a is the right answer next question who is author was a fellow novelist and a wrote and wrote a biography about charlotte bronte who is the biographer of charlotte bronte here who wrote a biography of charlotte bronte charlotte and he was also contemporary writer okay charlotte bronte emily bronte any bronte elizabeth gaskell elizabeth gaskell elizabeth gaskell has written written a biography biography of charlotte bronte so here d is the right answer who is the author of the novel Keel? Okay, George Orwell, Rudyard Kipling, Charles Dickens, and Dickens, Mark Twain. So Rudyard Kipling has written the novel. Okay, um, the Rudyard Kipling, Rudyard Kipling has written the novel called Key here. B is the Kim O'Hara. Kim O'Hara. Okay, the book Sea of Poppies is written in which Indian English author? Arvind Adeka nahi hai. Jhumpa Lahiri, Kiran Desai nahi. Amitabh Ghosh. Amitabh Ghosh has written the Sea of Poppies. Sea of Poppies was written by Amitabh Ghosh. And today, last question on the screen here. Who is the author of the novel Nectarina C? Arkinarayan, Kamala Marchandi, Arvind Desai. Chiran Deshai. So it is Kamala Markandia. Kamala Markandia has written, okay, Nectar in the Sea. The title has been taken from Coldridge, okay, Coldridge War Without Hope. Coldridge has written, okay, the poem called War Without, War Without Hope. And from this uh, war, okay, uh, Kamala Markandia has taken the title Nectar in a Sea by Kamala Markandia. So these are all 35 questions that I have discussed very rapidly okay, in a hurry, okay. Uh, so uh, with, with explanation, and thank you once again for watching the video. Please do not forget to subscribe.